Oh, it's uh, time to get back. You know, holidays are over. It's back into the mix. Three games, three nights on the road. How does that differ from, say, three games and three nights where you're going between Fort Wayne and Evansville? Well, I think, you know, the two of the games are in the same location, so that, that won't be too bad. It's uh, it's a very good opponent. It's going to be a, a physical, high-energy game, so, you know, that's obviously going to be taxing. But the, the trip to Atlanta uh, to play Gwinnett is only a two-hour drive, so it's not it's not too bad, to be honest with you. You know, it's an early Sunday game. I think that's probably the only unique thing about that Sunday game. A lot of times the Sunday games we're used to playing is at 5 o'clock, whereas this one's at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So if, if there's anything that we're not maybe used to, we'll be playing a, a, a quick turnaround game like that. But uh, – the guys are good pros, and they'll be well. They're ready to go. You get some quality bus time, right? <laughs> oh yeah, it's nice to get on the road. You know, we haven't been on uh, very many road trips this year, so we'll get on a sleeper bus and have some fun and enjoy one another's time. But at the end of the day, uh, we're only having fun if we're winning. So uh, we're looking to get some good points this weekend. Any specific uh, thing you're working on in practice this week? Yeah, I think you know we just want to continue to tighten the screws up defensively. Um, you know, we feel that we have a good offensive team. We, we we're on the same page offensively, but uh, there's just some things right now that we're making some some of the same mistakes that we're trying to get cleaned up and uh, be able to effectively transition out of our D zone better. Anything sticks out that you know about? Uh, the two teams you're going to face on the road trip? I'll be honest, the only team we've looked at so far is Greenville because we play on the first two nights. I haven't had a chance to look much at Gwinnett's uh, uh, tape yet, but uh, Greenville's a big physical team. Uh, they're very aggressive on the forecheck, and, and they're led by their goaltending. They have two of the best goaltenders in the league, so um, they're really built around team defense and goaltending, but they have some very good uh, depth at center, and they have some good depth up front too, so um, they've got a good combination of a lot of different things. Let's talk about your team in shootout. Six and one so far this year. I mean, why why is so much success on the shootout? Well, I think it's just our swagger and our confidence that we take in the shootouts. You know, and that starts with our goaltenders. You know, we have a lot of confidence in Nags, and to see uh, Willer get a win, a big win for us um, in a hostile environment. You know, the conditions weren't ideal. That was big for us. So, you know, we got a lot of confidence in our goaltenders, and I think with that confidence comes with the confidence to to you know whether we got to score one or two or, or three, whatever it is. Uh, the guys have been willing to do that. So, you know. The only one that we lost, uh, you know, their goaltender, obviously, it was a one nothing against uh, Wheeling, and, you know, both goaltenders played really well, so. Do you kind of see, I was just talking to Roman about this, uh, a shooter kind of gives the guys a chance to kind of prove themselves one-on-one, -on -one. who's better, goalie, shooter. Do you, do you kind of see that from the bench? Well, I see it, too, and the other thing, too, I look at as a coach, and I don't know if many people think about it this way, but it's a chance to give guys an opportunity. Maybe they're not getting the success scoring goals in, in the games, but a player is just maybe uh, uh, not getting the breaks or, you know, uh, needs to get going and get his confidence going. A shootout is a great opportunity to, to shoot a guy that maybe hasn't been scoring uh, during the, the regular season games as much as he normally would be to get that confidence going because confidence is everything with our guys. So um, you take a guy like Brett Perlini that scored a goal in the, in the game in, uh, against the walleye, we shot him in a shootout, and, uh, you know, he, he buried it. So he's not normally a guy that we would shoot in a shootout, but uh, he had two goals that night, two big ones. And then the final thing is, you know, we got uh, Roman Will up here. What does he add to this team? Well, he's a, he's a workhorse, you know, and I think that's where he fits in really good, well with our team is just the fact that he's willing to come to work every day and be a good pro. He's first on the ice, always working on his game after practice, and he's got a really good attitude. And what I like is he's just a very polite kid. Okay.